Good morning, children. In third class, you already has completed a block one, two, three, right? So now once again we will revise the same lesson, children. So our block one, what is the lesson name and all you know? But before knowing that, one small activity we'll do. What I am going to draw on the board. You are supposed to identify the parts of that diagram, right? So what diagram I am going to draw, you see. And tell me the parts of this diagram. So what I am going to draw, already you got an idea, I think so. Yes, it's a plant. Parts of a plant I am drawing now. Parts of a plant. So in a plant, which parts are there under the ground? The roots are under the ground. And above the ground, which part we can see? We can see stem. And stem bears, what does stem contain? Stem bear, leaves, flowers, and branches. It also bear branches. So these are green color parts are above. Leaves. Leaves are in which color? Green color. So and this part is flower. So these are the parts of a plant. You all everybody knows this. Draw in your diagram neatly. In your notebook, you draw this diagram and label all the parts. And you are at home right now. Um, take one, any small sapling and observe all these parts clearly. Visibly, you can see, you just pluck a small sapling and later you plant it again and observe all these parts. So this is only the parts you learnt in this diagram. So, especially we are going to read in our first S1 topic that is about our green color leaves. So, what's the parts a green leaf contain? What parts these leaves are contain? And how can we identify all the parts present in a leaf we are going to read? So, our today's topic is parts of a leaf. Parts of a leaf. We are going to read about parts of a leaf. I will show you the different types of leaves. These all the leaves are of different plants. Are you all finding any same character or same type of future among all these different plant leaves? Yes, you are right. All the, whatever it may be the plant, they are of different plants, but even though they all are in green color. So, all the leaves are in which color? Green color. Why they are in green color? Because they are having a pigment. This all you will read in your coming classes. They have chlorophyll pigment in this. Because of that, they appear green in color. So, now... We will see what parts present in a leaf. Now observe this part. The upper part, this is smooth. The upper part and this is the lower part of a leaf. To observe the parts of a leaf, you need to see the lower part. Lower part gives you more clear idea about the different parts of a plant. Okay. So now we will see a leaf, the down part of a leaf we will see what are the different parts present in this leaf. So we are going to read now parts of a leaf. What are the different parts present in a leaf we will see now. So these are the different parts, the lower part of a leaf you observe. You can see the lines, some lines are present on this leaf. 
so these lines are known as veins we will call them as veins the lines are known as veins and in these veins one vein is very clear and the big vein is present in the middle right this is known as the big vein is known as mid vein this is known as mid vein and this flat green color part up top side and down side the green color part is known as leaf blade so this green color part is known as leaf blade leaf blade before knowing this to understand all these parts you can do one small activity you take one leaf like this at home to do this you need one paper white paper and any leaf leaf of any plant you take and keep under the um, paper keep this uh, leaf under the paper under the paper you keep like this and slightly you are able to see the leafy structure here in an above paper now take a crayon nicely you shade you do the coloring on the leaf okay and after doing crayon color then remove this leaf and do the outline so you will get a leafy structure on the leaf after doing this activity then you try to label the parts of your leaf so the leaf the green part soft upper part is known as leaf blade and the veins the lines which are present on the leaf these are the veins small lines present on the leaf are veins and this is the big vein which is present known as mid vein so this leaf is connected to the stem leaf is connected to a stem known as stalk all the leaves are connected to stem right so this part which is connecting the leaf with stem is known as stalk and these are leaf margins where this the end of the leaf is known as leaf margin leaf margin leaf blade side veins mid vein the veins which are at the, from the mid vein they are known as side veins they are side veins leaf blade mid vein stalk so these are the different parts in a leaf how do you have any body parts in you yes of course right you have different body parts like your hands like your legs like your stomach same way the we just now seen the parts of a plant in the same way the different parts of a leaf children so you collect some leaves around your home and you see the structure of leaf is it has the same parts and try to identify the parts which we are discussed in our class okay children now we'll move to our worksheet what questions are given in your worksheet you come to page number 10 and see how are the leaves Let's come to S one exercise parts of a leaf and see what is the similarity between the two leaves. Two leaf structures are given here in the workbook and is asking you to find out the similarities. What's the meaning of similarity? Similarities of both the leaves which are given in your workbook. Similarity means the same characters. differences means which are differ from each other so here what are the similarities leaf a and leaf b both are having mid vein are you able to see the mid vein yes 
Are you able to see the side veins? Yes. So both are having, both the leaves have side veins, both the leaves have mid vein and both the leaves have stalk. Okay. So can you write that? Both leaves have, both the leaves have side veins, both the leaves have mid vein, both the leaves have stalk. So you need to write that answer in your own words today. Okay, now shall we move on to the next? Label the parts of a leaf. Just now through the activity I told you to find out the different parts of a leaf. Here the leaf diagram he has given, you are just label this diagram. Where the leaf blade is present, where the mid vein is present, where the side veins are present. Look at the parts. Fine? Okay, then last question, which side of the leaf is this? In the diagram, the leaf has shown, right? That is which side? Is it upper side or lower side? Give reason. If you think it's upper side, give the reason why you are feeling that it's the upside of the leaf. If you feel that it's a lower side of the leaf, why do you feel that it's the lower side of the leaf? Can you see the diagram and answer me? Yes. Yes, you are right. It's the lower side of the leaf. Why? Because the veins are clearly visible. Just now we discussed in the beginning of our lesson, I showed you a leaf, upper side. The upper side will be very smooth. And lower side will be not that smooth than the upper side. And upper side it's very green. More greenery is there in the upper side. When you compare with the lower side of the leaf. And also see the difference. The veins are they clearly present upper side or the downside? The downside veins are clearly present. So in this way in your diagram also the veins are so clear. By that you can conclude this that lower side of a leaf. Can you write that children? So you can write just I am giving you a clue. The given diagram the leaf is in the given diagram the leaf is lower part of the leaf. Why because, why because the veins are very clear in the given diagram. The veins are, the veins are very clear, clearly seen, clearly seen in the given diagram. So we can conclude that it's the lower part of a leaf. Okay children. Now draw the same, a leafy structure, a leaf you draw even in your notebook and label all the given parts. Color the leaf and do it neatly. In tomorrow's class we will discuss, is there any differences between different leaves? Are all the leaves will have same structure? That we are going to see. Thank you. Plant Paths Do you know the paths of plants? The paths of plants? The paths of plants? Do you know the paths of plants that make them grow and grow? The roots they hold the plant in place the plant in place, the plant in place, the roots they hold the plant in place, soak up food and water too. Them 
grow and grow the stem moves water up the plant up the plant up the plant the stem moves water up the plant bring water to the leaf 